yeah, I think humor can transcend political differences. Although a lot of times, people, um, if if it's a political joke, people from that are the target of the joke um, tend to be a little more sensitive. However, done right, I think, I think that done right, humor can make people that are even the target of a joke laugh. A lot of times, people want you to talk about them. So if you call a spade a spade they are almost, they almost have to laugh. And if they don't laugh, then, then um, it kind of reiterates um, the joke. Um, so when you have a Democrat making fun of a Republican, hopefully the Republican is willing to laugh, and vice versa. The difficulties uh, as a satirist uh, coming from the Middle East, you know, I grew up in America, so I'm very Americanized. Um, I would say that, um, you know, within my own community, sometimes there's people that, that don't have the sense of humor that you would hope that they would. Um, sometimes that's a cultural thing. I think that sometimes people that come from the Middle East, um, where respect is a big thing, you're not supposed to make fun of certain things and certain people. But in America, uh, you're supposed to go after everybody. So I think sometimes that creates uh, a little bit of a problem when, when you have people from your own background, they get offended at certain jokes. And I think that in America, the Americans that maybe sometimes, um, I, I would say the Americans that, that, that see my shows, um, sometimes they're shocked at the fact that there's actually humor in our cultures. A lot of times Americans don't even know that people from that part of the world have a sense of humor. So it's not so much a problem as it is um, them having to discover you and go, oh wow, there's people from that part of the world that actually are funny. What I see in the future of politics, I'm hoping that with uh, as the as the internet um, brings more and more people into the conversation, um, that um, the that that people are more open-minded with things. It's almost like I was just having this conversation with somebody else right now. It feels like um, definitely America is becoming more and more diverse, um, and I think that it's hard for people to try and maintain an old school conservative mentality on anything, whether it's um, people's sexuality or race, um, uh, immigration, a lot of these things. So I think that I hope, I'm very hopeful that the future is a promising one and I'm hoping that no matter what party it is, they got to start accepting that it's a diverse world um, and, uh, and, and that the, there's some, some light at the end of the tunnel with, with uh, all the, uh, with, with the politics today. Women in politics are going to be taken over. They're going to kick ass. Um, uh, women are women are smart. Women are. Uh, I mean, it's that's a that's that's a silly statement, but it's true. I mean, we we all know that that uh, there's a lot of smart women, a lot of a lot of great female leaders. Um, and when I see some countries that 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 uh, um, don't include women in their politics or in their uh, or in their day to day. It blows my mind, and I don't know what they're thinking. And I and I do think that uh, that women in this country are are have a very bright future. Uh, first female president is coming up soon. Yeah. <laughs>